Hello, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Here I'm going to share with you today a prophecy that Sister Barbara got today. So let's take a listen. So I got this prophecy first thing um, this morning when I was in prayer. Now I heard one word yesterday, uh, pretty much all, all, all the whole day, all over and over. And the word is debauchery. That's what I heard. Debauchery. So here we go. I look at man and I am grieved. Where is your wisdom? I have given you Psalms and Proverbs, Proverbs to learn and grow. I see debauchery, murder and adultery. I see oppression and strife. As I open the seals and show my power and might using your weather and earth changes, I do not see the fear of the Lord. Even the plague and pestilence has not moved you to repent and turn away from sin. My judgments have been written and recorded in my Apocalypse book written by John. You remain unmoved and unrepentant. I see only a few righteous men and women. I see horrific and heinous crimes against babies and children. Yes. My tears fall to earth as floods. Judgment will continue. The bulls and trumpets, the bulls and trumpet judgments will shock and surprise the mockers and scoffers. I have given you prophets and messengers to warn you of coming disasters. You have refused to hear and to believe them. You have tried to silence and kill them I have poured out my spirit on my anointed. I have given them dreams and visions to share with you and alert you that I am coming to you. I am coming for you. I am with you. I love you. I come quickly with my reward. Now that's a uh, what, jaw dropper, tongue hanging outer. Okay, well I'm gonna stop it there. And y'all can click on the link in the description box to hear the rest of it. Uh, she probably has scriptures to add. I'm not sure. I didn't listen to the rest of it. I just wanted to share the prophecy. And let you take it to the Lord as you will. Clearly, she doesn't get the whole entire picture. I mean, like I said before, we all, those who get something, words, dreams, or visions see in part and prophesy in part nobody has ever gotten the whole first well when i got the message about the two raptures well he called them harvests barley harvest we'd come back help the others get ready they're the wheat harvest and clearly we all know right now the the wheat and the tares are being separated. Tares looking just like the wheat when they're growing up. Remember the parable of the wheat and the tares? The servant asked the master, Lord, didn't you plant good seed? And he said, yes, I did. And he said, well, some crooked person has come and planted tares alongside your wheat and is going to grow up and choke them or something like that. He asked, should I go out and tear them up? Pull them up? What did the master say? No, let them grow up together lest you tear up some of the wheat also or pull up using the wrong word there. Lest you pull up some of the wheat also. Let them grow together and then at harvest time we will separate the wheat from the tares. Something like that. I'll look it up and put the scripture reference in the description box. And possibly, uh, there should be room for the whole thing. It's probably not but ten lines. And so, you can read it there. I should have thought to do that first, but I hadn't planned to get into that. So, thank you Holy Spirit. So, with that, I'm going to say bye for now. I plead the blood of Jesus over each and every one of us, our devices, and all our internet connections. And I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.